morning it is thursday morning i have today off and it's going to be a very busy day so i figured i would start early and start vlogging for you guys and take you along take you along with me today um i have had a couple days off a week for the past like three weeks because I've been working weekends again and um, it's been so crazy my days off um, during the week which I'll get into maybe towards the end of the video but um, today it's a day I can finally enjoy the day off myself and we have quite a bit to do everything from um, going to Starbucks, going to the gym, I want to go up to Kittery Outlets and take you guys to Crate and Barrel with me and explain why we're at Crate and Barrel. Um, I have to go grocery shopping. I have dinner plans tonight. I want to take Instagram pictures. I have to clean the bathroom and my closet. So there's a lot to do. It's still early. I think it's like 8 a.m. So um, we're going to hit the gym get Starbucks on the way home and then go from there but, but stay tuned if you want to see what a day off looks like with me um so I have been severely procrastinating it is almost already 11 I showered after the gym successfully got Starbucks Snuggled with Lola for a little bit and now we have to tackle the bathroom cleaning and the closet cleaning. Well, that's Lola, but this is the closet currently. Um, all of my clothing from the entire week and weekend worth of work is just all piled up here. So I need to put clothes away and probably even do a little laundry. Goodness gracious. There's nothing in there for you. I promise there's nothing in there. Bathroom is all clean. I have my cleaning supplies drying in the shower, but the floor is steamed with my essential oil mop, sinks better, everything's back in place and dusted, mirrors clean. Going to Target. I need water bottles, I need to go to Trader Joe's as well and get some groceries. I have zero food, I haven't ate anything today and it's about 1 p.m. So I need to go to the grocery store and get food to eat. Um, and then I think we're gonna head up to Kittery. I need to go to Stonewall Kitchen, which is in New York, which is just down the street from Kittery. Um, and I need some sriracha aioli and some mixies for Kelsey's birthday this weekend. They have like espresso martini mixes and lemon drop mixes so super good um and then i need sriracha aioli and then i can take you guys to crate and barrel it'll be a little excuse to pop in there even though i was just there on tuesday so let's go so i'm nervous to bring my camera oh i'm nervous to bring my camera into crate and barrel it's right there um i think just like classier stores like they don't want some girl in her freaking chocolate brown tracksuit running around with her vlog camera talking to herself about all the furniture so i'm gonna do it on my phone the clip should look relatively the same i was taking clips on my phone uh this morning when i forgot my camera at the gym so i'm gonna see if they got anything new i was literally here tuesday it's thursday um so thursdays i know is a big discount day so usually they are expecting stuff um, to come like end of the week so they're trying to get the stuff that's been there out so the stuff that is in these outlets comes and goes so fast like you literally have to go every day to keep up and get any good deals um, the reason I am looking for new furniture is because Alec and I both got new jobs um, by the time I put this out I would have already let my current employer know so it should be good but there may be a little bit of delay this probably won't go up until next week um, super exciting it's been in the works for quite some time we started with New York and didn't get a whole lot of action because that's really where we wanted to venture out next 
and then an opportunity for him um, in the electric and electrician field um, didn't fall into his lap but like pieces fell together perfectly and it was a super great opportunity so he's doing it so I started looking for jobs in Boston and the job market is so crazy right now I think I applied to like 27 jobs and I had like 12 interviews um, so that's why my days during the week have been so crazy because most of these are corporate positions I'm kind of getting out of the property management um, industry so I've needed those days off during the week to hold interviews and go even in-person interviews and chat with people and have things scheduled. I literally have an Excel sheet of all of the jobs I applied for and who I've inter interviewed with and who I'm favoring and if it's on site, etc. So that's been in the works for I would say like three weeks, almost a month now. So that's why I've kind of been MIA on my days off to vlog. I apologize. Um, but I was so excited to share the news here with you guys. Um, so we will probably be relocating to Massachusetts. Um, probably like Boston suburb area is what we're thinking right now. We just accepted the jobs uh, t Tuesday. Yes, I think we just we just accepted the jobs Tuesday. I accepted my offer. I had been going back and forth um, for a little bit, and Alec finally got his offer. So that was great. Everything literally happened in like three hours. So um, hopefully, I'll be taking you guys on some apartment tours, and then I'll have like a new apartment video and um, kind of like a shop with me apartment series I'm assuming with the furniture stuff um, we have a current couch now and it's my cousins um, and we're still in the works of figuring out if we're gonna go our separate ways if she wants to live on her own if we want to live on our own if we should just stay together and live together um, I think I'm going to need some new furniture anyway just because this was like our first legitimate like nice apartment so um, I needed quite a bit I'm hoping to have a kitchen island in our next um, location that's like a must for me which is such an odd must but I'm looking at bar stools so all kinds of little things in the works um, but I'll bring you guys on in with me happy to share that exciting news hopefully I'll get an apartment tour video up of my current apartment before we move out in July um, we know for sure we're not renewing because our rents going up a crazy amount and I will no longer have a discount because I'm not working there anymore so or will no longer be working there um, so we just don't know where we're gonna be yet so it'll be a pretty long series I'll take you guys along we're gonna be looking within the next few months because July is right around the corner but let's head on into Crate and Barrel and I'll come back and give you guys the rundown of what we saw in there and I'll add little clips of what I can what I can on my phone and then we'll have to go to Stonewall and get some mixies and sriracha yoli um, for this weekend like I mentioned that was a quick little go I did like one lap around and didn't love anything I really really want to be like head over heels in love with a couch if we end up venturing out on our own and it's probably going to be like you know something you invest in like you know a couch that'll follow us throughout our moves and hopefully a home in the near future and there were a couple regular couches There was this white couch with like these huge great fluffy pillows and it had like a cover on it. Um, I saw quite a bit. Um, there was kind of that like Sherpa dining room chair set and then that big amazing bench that was the same fabric and same style that I love. If we already knew what we were doing and had a space, um, 
I would 110% buy that for like the end of our bed. I think that would be phenomenal. It looks like it's the length that would kind of like go right up against a queen bed. Um, I know in our current apartment it would be too tight um, to walk like around. So I don't know. Maybe another one will show up in the next couple months when we figure out what we're doing. But I'm in love with that bench. If I had like a back hall or a mud room to snag that, I totally would. So let's go over to Stonewall and see what we can find. It's so cute, but here we are going into the store where they have all their homemade kitchen and drink and bakery mixes and food mixes. It's super cute. So I actually did get to film in there, which was good. Um, I got a clip of the sriracha yulis I got and then the two drink mixers I got. So, sorry, that was so rude. Um, they did have the espresso martini mix, which I'm so, so glad they had. That must be like a new staple because on the displays, there was like these big, beautiful displays for spring. And there was like a Bloody Mary display with all the fixings and the mixes. And then there was like a lemon drop display with all the fixings and mixes and everything. They have like lemony, like lemon bar mix and lemon soap and all that stuff. And I could not find the espresso martini stuff. So I went to just the drink section and they had that and then this pomegranate cosmo mixer i think that's what it's called i'll put clips in um that caught my eye i love a good cosmo and i love pomegranate so that sounds super light and yummy um so that's what i'm probably going to be drinking um but it'll be there for all the girls so that's my contribution this weekend a quick little 50 dollars on three sauces and two drink mixers but I think it's totally worth it. I put that sriracha yoli on everything. Alec and I like drink that shit. Okay, but now we're gonna go to Target and just get a few little things and then we'll do Trader Joe's. I'll probably try to record the Target stuff like as I go, kind of like what I was doing in there. But Trader Joe's is always crazy busy and I like to get in and get out of there. I mean, I'm not one of those people that's like still like dick around in the grocery store. So I'll probably just do a Trader Joe's. Uh, Trader Joe's haul when I get home, but I'm about to merge onto the highway. I don't want you to go flying So I'll see you when we get to Target There's a lot going on in the back. That's Lil's car seat and the rejection clothes that Plato's Closet wouldn't buy for me. So they've sat in my car for three months until they decide to buy them. I just keep going back with the same clothes. Um, so I have inserted the little montage clips of putting things in my cart from Target. And I think if you're new here or you don't know a whole lot about me, that Target haul was a very accurate representation of who I am. So do with that as you wish. I got the Lunchable for immediately right now because I was walking through Target and started to get a little faint and did not want to have a medical episode nor do I have time to have a medical episode because we're going out tonight and I still have to go to Trader Joe's. So assuming my blood sugar is very low, I got the one with the Capri Sun, which is just icing on the cake pump some sugar into me and then the oh my god I did not get the salami I did not get the salami I got the ham oh my god I could cry ew I wanted the turkey 
Oh my god. Guys, this just ruined my fucking day. I saw the Capri Sun and I was like, perfect combo. Turkey and cheese with crackers. It's ham. I don't even know if I should eat it. I'll probably just throw up. Oh god, stay tuned for that. Maybe I'll just chug my Capri Sun and make Alec eat it. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to Trader Joe's. I'll do a haul when we get back. I do need to eat right now though or something bad's gonna happen. Like you don't, I don't know. I feel like there's live music somewhere. Do you guys hear that saxophone? It's melting my heart. I'm about to go find it and it might make my day a little better. So let's go try to find it. Okay, so I'm not fully crazy and I hope this doesn't get copyrighted, but can you hear that music? Where is it coming from? I think it might just be coming through the speakers at the strip mall, but I've never heard that. I'm so confused. Oh my God, there's a man. Oh my God, he's fully playing the violin. Can you guys even see me? Wait, I need to, we need to go investigate. Okay, so he's playing background music. But the violin, I'm almost positive is all him. Oh my God. I don't want this to get copyrighted. We're fully going to give him all my money. He is fucking phenomenal. A man was standing there with me. I wish I was vlogging. He was standing there with me and he watched me put the money in. He was like, you just gave him $20. And I was like, yeah, I'm aware. He's a fucking amazing. He's like, really? He's like, have you seen him before? And I'm like, no, I'm going to Trader Joe's grocery shopping. And he just like completely changed my day. Like that is pure raw talent this is my little trader joe's haul a few things are from target and then the stonewall sriracha yoli i put the drinks mixes away already but i was so focused on that man playing music i forgot to pretty much get majority of what i went in there for so i got snacks and then i got what alec needed and just eggs and cheese for breakfast stuff so i will probably be making a trip back unfortunately but it's totally fine because if you couldn't hear me in that video when i got back in the car that man was fully playing the violin like an angel and I needed to give him all the cash in my wallet so I did only $20 but um the man coming out of Chipotle was moved that I gave him 20 full dollars and yeah I'm glad you guys got to witness that with me because that was a day maker completely unreal I hope I don't get copyrighted for that little clip I'm going to include so you guys can appreciate as well but um I will get some clips going to dinner for Kelsey's birthday tonight and that'll probably wrap up this vlog so I hope you've enjoyed thus far good morning guys um, it is 6 a.m. before I go into work and I have just remembered that I need to close out this video um, this was filmed probably like two months ago and I have other videos waiting to go up and I had to close the outro so Thank you all for watching. I did not get to film Kelsey's birthday. Unfortunately, that turned into um, a very wild night and an unfortunate series of events for a Thursday. Did not make it to work on Friday. Um, you know the rest. But it was a fabulous day, very productive. Um, I hope you guys liked the little shopping hauls and taking me along with you. If you want to see more of that, comment down below. Otherwise, I have some exciting news um, and some different videos coming up uh, very soon. So stay tuned and um, I hope you guys all have a fabulous day.